Yo, yo, how's it going, everyone? It's your main man, Sinister of the Gamer Section. And got a new game to review. It's called Blaze and Chrome. This game is available for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and the and the PC. And, you know, basically, oh, what's this game about? You know, what's the story like? You know, is this game fun? You know, that's what we're here to discuss. So let's get down to it, shall we? You know, of course, Blaze and Chrome. I know a lot of you think it's like, does this remind you of Contra? Well, to me, it does. <laughs> it looks, it, it, the way the game played, it, it feels just like you're playing Contra, you know, back in the days. So, and basically, that's what I'm going to discuss. So, basically, you know, what's this game about? What's the story like? Well, basically, the story is like a post-apocalyptic. You got a bunch of enemies running amok around, around the city. And, of course, you got two heroes named Marva. Yeah, she's like the lone human female of the series or the game, excuse me. And of course, she has a companion named Doyle. He's like a cyborg. And of course, they both run and gun, you know, just like you know Bill and Lance be doing. But of course, you got other characters, you know, you can unlock through the, you know, once you go through the game, you know, progress a little more, unlock more characters as you go. And so basically, uh, first down, uh, first off, let's go with, over the graphics. I mean, graphically, yeah, the game kind of reminds you of the 16-bit era, you know, like the Super Nintendo, Genesis, Graphics 16, respectively. And, of course, like the character sprite look detailed. And, of course, the level design looks also cool. And, you know, you know, just playing through the first level, it's like, wow, it's like, it could, it's just like uh, Contra the Alien Wars because, you know, you got the red sky, you got the destruction in the background. And, of course, in the foreground, you got a lot of destruction, too. You got damaged cars. Of course, you got poles you can grapple, grapple onto. It's just like uh, the Alien Wars. But, of course, when it comes to weapon choices, well, of course, that's, you know, going to you know break that down, too. As I go into the gameplay, I mean, the gameplay is, is just, it looks just as fun. I mean, like I say, it's just the way you run and gun. I mean, it's just, you flip, but, of course, you get to roll around. Of course, you know, Bill and Lance, Never got, <laughs> never got to do that in, in that in that series, especially like the early games, because basically they they just run, they jump, they flip around, <laughs> just to, you know dodge enemy attacks, you know things and such forth. Of course, furthermore, I mean that's, that's all breaking it down. I mean because it basically breaks down to like it combines like the efforts of uh, Contra Hardcore. It's, of course, in that game, you get the choice of four weapons. Like, if you you know find the weapon power up, you should get four, choose four uh, selection. And of course, with uh, the Alien Wars, you know you get to grapple on the different poles and shoot at the same time and things like that. But of course, in this game, you don't see no mode seven and things like that and hit to help you out. But of course, uh, you get a mech suit. You know, it's the further go you go through the level, you get a mech suit. They drop it off. You get to destroy more enemies for a limited amount of time, because you know it's the more damage it takes, they don't tell you to eject. And of course, if you don't do it in time, you you lose a life. And of course, next I want to break down is the challenge. <laughs> and let me let me tell you, this game is challenging. Things. <laughs> If you're looking for a challenge, I mean, this game is it because it will test you. Because I mean, you really have to be fast on your feet. You have some re fast reflexes to dodge enemy attacks because you guys, you have constantly enemies keep coming and coming and things like that. And of course, the bosses they were really challenging until you learn their patterns because you know, they'll come out of nowhere with this attacking you like they throw everything but the kitchen sink at you and <laughs> things like that. So I say, yeah, just keep in mind just. Just to be fast, quick with you, you know, with your shots. Just to, you know, learn the dodge. Just to you know, move away from the uh, enemy attacks as you go. And of course, you you know, what's next to discuss? All the things that you know we'll discuss. Is this game fun? Yes, it is. It's fun by yourself, or you can also you know play you know with a friend, things like that. Depending on what difficulty you want to start off with. You know, of course, speaking of difficulty, you know, you only have two modes to unlock. Of course, you have your basic easy, then you have normal. Of course, with easy mode, it's like for new players, you know, who want to get a feel of the game. I said, you know, I suggest start on easy just to learn the game, the layout, you know, just learn the patterns by trial and error, things like that. But 
And of course, uh, moving up, you have normal. You get fewer lives than than you do on easy. But however, you know, just with less number, but with easy and normal, you get unlimited continues. But of course, if you want, you know, if you beat the game on normal, you unlock hard. For anybody that's looking for a real challenge, there you go. You probably have limited continues, and of course, like in all three difficulties, I mean, it's basically one hit kills. It's just like I said, you have to definitely, you know, keep on your toes if you want to survive, because it's basically all it is is based on survive. Especially when you get to the boss fights, you know, bringing a friend along, like I said, it increases your survival chances and things like that. But, but overall, the game is fun. All right, basically, let's get down to the nitty gritty, you know. What score would I give this game? Well, as far as Blazing Chrome goes, I give it a 4.5 out of 5. You know, I'm going to get the negatives out of the way. By yourself, like on the harder challenges, you're going to find it, you know, the, the number of enemies cumbersome because, you know, like I said, you got waves and waves of enemies coming at you all at once. Like I said, there's times, you know, you're trying to get in the zone, you may hit the wrong button, and times that leads to a lot of cheap deaths and things like that. But as far as the positives go, I mean, like I said, the game is fun, it's fluid, you know, you don't see no choppiness in the gameplay, things like that. And of course, it's also fun if, if you do this in co-op, you know, like I said, bring a friend along to play with you. Like I said, it increases your survival rate. Uh, you probably can blaze through the game in no time. And like I said, if you want a bigger challenge, you can always play on the hard difficulty, things like that. Because like I said, this game is basically trial and error. It's like... Especially when it comes to the bosses and things like that. So, so yeah, there you go. So, you know, have y'all played this game? I want to hear your thoughts. Just leave your comments down below. This is Sinister. Be easy. Always check us out on the gamer section for more videos. You know, for game trailers, reviews, podcasts, etc. Other than that, y'all take it easy. See ya.